four across? Yeah, about four across. Back before they had the ability to actually put flame to a vessel. They actually heated up rocks and then dropped the rocks into the wart. Go ahead and give it a whirl. Eight, eight, eight. That's pretty damn hot. That's as high as it goes, isn't it? I think so. I think we've wow. maxed out the gun. It's good. Perfect. Yeah, clear. As hot as it is, it is so cool. All the sugar that's in the wart now is hitting this hot surface and just caramelizing watch on it. the outside. Now you're going to want to watch this. Now you guys might want to get there back. There we go. Ah. You just can't do this everywhere. No, no. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> this is actually the last batch of hot rocks that we did. All righty then. Ah, man. It's my favorite sort of beer, the hot rocks caramelization. Um, mm. <laughs> I love this beer. Third largest craft brewery in the U.S. All right. Eighth largest U.S. brewery overall. I've always wanted to come here. Oh, cool. The name tells the history. This was one of the very first American breweries to make true Belgian style beer. Transatlantique. And there's a whole world of Belgian wild beers like Salas and Lambics. Most delicious beer in the world. Aged in giant barrels called Fooders, where microbes create unique flavors. And since no two beers ever come out the same, they need to be blended by an expert. Fooder number one is the first Fooder we ever acquired. Oh, uh, really? And her name is Sure Thing. She makes amazing sour beer. All told, we're sampling 12 different fooders. I go through every single one of them. This is all done the old-fashioned way. This I mean, this is, is all done by palate this and is, by notes. This is done the old-fashioned way and the only way I know. So let's do this rapid fire the way you, yep. the, you would normally do it. You, and you taste, see. I taste. Oh, this is a waiter. Absolutely. Ooh. It is like sour butterscotch. Now we blend. Short thing, about 40%. You can see the wheels turning in her head here. You know, I'm going to use a little bit of that high tinny use some of the 21 because I oh. really like the musty note. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the promise of sweetness is there. There's not too much funk. Right. Uh, this great drinkability suddenly. That is truly wonderful. Ah. Thank you. Salud. Salud. Among the wide range of beers, ah. Stone Cellar Brew Pub turns out English six grain ah. ale is a Belgian style specialty beer called Grand Cru. A lot of its flavor and alcohol come from rock candy. Why do we use rock candy? Well, it's traditional to what Belgians use in their beer. We've got three ingredients: and they cream are? of tartar, water, and sugar. Take the stick. Ah, oh, the stick. Just run it down and fold it over. You need a few muscles, Michael. That's all right, I got a few. Whoa. Now, pretty much right now, this is a lot like lava. That's caramelized enough. This is a nice batch. Oh, yeah. Bucket of gold. This is exactly what it is. This is gold. This is brewer's gold. Before we put it into the kettle, we have to dilute it and get it into a liquid form. So right. we'll, we'll get that going right there. Rock candy gives it a completely different consistency and flavor. The added sugar kicks up the alcohol. The Belgians really like to kick up the alcohol. Very smooth. Very, very Pretty smooth. Good. Smooth. Yes. And then that wonderful candy sugar roll off the top of your cup. Right. That's just fantastic. Well, excellent. Thank you very much.